If you want to learn more about American liberty through the context of American history, go to my friends over at PatriotPost.us. Sign up today and download your free copy of The Patriot's Primer on American Liberty through the link in the description box below. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And speaking of liberty, are we going to talk about how this whole virus kerfuffle is taking away our rights every single day? You know, rights that are given to us that are written in stone in the Constitution, freedom of assembly, right to bear arms. These rights are being totally eroded away. And it seems like people aren't really putting up much of a fight and they're not saying too much about it at all. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because I've seen just way too many incidents of it. And at a certain point, when you see a pattern developing, maybe there is a purposeful agenda behind it. Let's talk about L.A. right quick. This is probably the most egregious example. And then I get into some other things. Now, the article I saw this morning says that if you are deemed as, quote unquote, non-essential business and you refuse to close during this whole quarantine thing because of the virus, they can shut your power and your water off. I think that was in L.A. I don't know about the rest of California, but in L.A., that's what they're doing. Now, the question is, what businesses are deemed as essential and which ones are deemed as non-essential? For some reason, a weed dispensary is deemed as essential. So you can still go smoke your weed, get high, smoke your drugs or whatever, and that's fine during the whole outbreak. No problem with that. You could probably still be on the street and smoke crack for a living or shoot heroin for a living. That's a different story. And I move on. The point is that your drugs aren't really being slowed up. That's not really a problem. But the gun stores are being closed. Deemed as non-essential. Now, I don't understand how that makes any sense at all. I have the right to bear arms. Yes. So why would you forcibly close by shutting off the power in the water and with police enforcement? When you're talking about a gun store, okay? Luckily, I'm in a place where that's not happening. Thank God. I'm in the South, and I already got my guns and my ammo already, so I'm straight. But what if you're in L.A., and things are getting hectic? People are losing their jobs because that's another part of this whole thing. You have no right to, you know, pursue happiness, pursue employment anymore. Your job you go to that you depend upon, that you rely upon to help you pay your bills and pay for yourself, pay for your kids, pay for your family— is shut down by order of the government locally not the federal government but the government locally the federal government is giving suggestions guidelines but they're not saying you can't be open you must shut down that is the local government in many of these states if i'm not mistaken if i'm wrong let me know in the comments below some places as far as like restaurants you can have it open as far as uh carry out but you can't have the dining room open. Now, some places have totally closed down these spots. And it's really ridiculous because you got a right to be able to eat. You can go to a grocery store, you can go to Walmart where there's a lot of people at at one time, way more than 10 people in one area in Walmart or a grocery store or a bank. But I can't go to a gun store to get a thing I actually need. You know, when somebody may ask me, hey, ABO, what would you need in the zombie apocalypse? What would you need if you want to be a prepper? I'm not a prepper. I'm not, you know, into that that much. I like to be, especially right now, but I know a little bit of something. What I would want is food, water, guns, ammunition. Th those are the main things I need. I can survive on that. And of course, shelter, you know, but guns, food, ammo. That's what I need. Water as well. But all of a sudden, because the government says I can't go there in Los Angeles, California, then I'm pretty much out of luck. I think that's just totally a violation of my rights. This whole thing is a violation of our rights. You got to stay home. We can't go to work. They have agreed on the stimulus package, at least for now. It's been agreed upon in the White House, of course, and the Senate. It still must go to the House where you got to get past the Wicked Witch of Washington, D.C., Nancy Pelosi. But I'll move on. It still has to go there and get approved. But as of right now, it has been approved. You get a check for 1200 as an individual on a one-time basis as a you know one-off. You may get more, but for right now, it's a one-off. People have totally lost their jobs, 
lost their businesses due in large part to government mandate. Some of it is because people are scared. They don't want to go outside. They don't want to catch the bug. But some of it is because the government has forced people to close down. Now, they're going to give out small business loans and stuff like that. But a loan, why not just let me go out here and make my money and not shut me down? I understand the concern. People are scared about the virus. I get it. But at a certain point, it's like, when does the governments want to reduce a population that are infected by the virus interfere with my rights as a citizen in America? Okay. And how long are we going to prolong this whole thing? And how many more rights are going to be taken away? I feel like we're under martial law, the food shortages. When you go to the grocery store, oh, you got limits on what you can buy. And there's certain things that you can't buy because the shelves are empty. I feel like if you want socialism, if you wanted to really see how it would be in the United States, you want to try it here to see if we do it better. Okay, you're getting a nice little preview right now. You get in the preview. Now, some are going to say, oh, that's not right, ABL. We're under an emergency. We can't go out there and work. Well, what do you think will happen when you have socialism and the taxes go through the roof? Okay, you're not going to have certain things be available to you. What you're getting right now is a preview of what's going to be going on. When you're under socialism in a big country like this and you're trying to have everything be equitable, what's going to happen is you're going to have higher unemployment, you're going to have food shortages, water shortages, you're going to have general shortages, you may have more crime, and to reduce the crime, you're going to have martial law, curfew, the whole nine yards. It's been done before. This ain't nothing new. USSR, China, Cambodia, I mean, the list goes on. We've seen it over and over and over. Germany, the same things have happened all throughout history. So I don't think we really want that here. Um, now, am I going to say that this disaster relief package is socialism? No, because we have, we've had a thing that happened that we can't really control as far as a disease. But I will say that some of these draconian measures to try and enforce things to prevent the virus from spreading are getting on the lines of socialism and communism. I don't want so much control from the government. The government's job should be to protect me, not to enslave me or imprison me when i've done no wrong okay if you're living in a civil society and you break laws i get it i understand there's punishment for that but if i'm a law-abiding citizen if i'm not engaging in any kind of mischievous actions then i shouldn't be treated as such you know people say oh china had the best model they did great with the ccp bug outbreak well what they were doing was welding literally welding people inside of their home they put a metal bar up in front of your door and welded it shut so you couldn't get out. Okay, the most you can do was just crack it a little bit to get some fresh air in, but you couldn't even get out your house. And then some who may have been actually sick were forcibly taken from their homes and then brought to a quote unquote camp or hospital. And by the way, that quote unquote hospital they built very quickly. Uh, if you looked inside, it appeared to be a penitentiary. They got the food tray in the front. You cannot open the door from the inside. You know, it, it seems like it was a penitentiary, but I'll move on. My whole point is that socialism, communism, control of people, that goes against our rights as Americans. I don't know about you, but I'm not really with giving up all my rights. You give me suggestions how to protect myself. Okay, I'm with it. I'll hear your suggestions, but don't tell me that I can't operate business anymore. Don't tell me I can't make money. And then on top of that, you want to enforce these things by cutting off my power, cutting off my water, uh, maybe even locking me up, giving me a ticket. I don't like it. Hopefully we get beyond this whole thing sooner than later. And I don't want to see any kind of holdovers from this particular point in time. Okay. This is not the new normal as many people will try to say, no, it's not. This is temporary. It's just like if you have a hurricane that hits, or a tornado that hits, you have damage, you clean up the damage and get back to normal life. That's what we're going to do coming up here pretty soon. Like I said, hopefully sooner than later, but I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you, do you think that our rights are being taken away 
as a result of this virus? If that's your viewpoint, let me know why in the comments below. Or are our rights not being taken away? Is everything that's fine? If that's your viewpoint, let me know why in the comments below. I think what's happening here is that some people are not letting a good tragedy go to waste. They want to use this whole virus situation to push forward their particular narrative. We saw that with the Democrats, Nancy Pelosi, talking about, yeah, uh, your bill's bad. It has corporate bailouts in it. I want diversity quotas in corporate settings. I want Green New Deal. I want $30 million at the Kennedy Center. I want this. I want that. I want airplanes with uh, zero emissions, ridiculous, retarded stuff. We don't need any more of that. All we got to do right now is get through this whole virus thing, uh, let the flatten the curve or whatever other dumb thing they want to say, get past that and get back to normal life and not have any of our rights taken away. But whatever your comments are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.